Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready? Okay. I think so, they're like that because they they're hungry. Yeah. Yes, they're hungry. Yes, you are hungry. Yeah. So we'll be cooking for everyone. And that's perfect. Okay, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's start. I am Ella Grecalias. I am Disha Kiblat. And I am L.A. Baldove. We are college students from the Institute of International Culinary and Hospitality Entrepreneurship, iChef. Truly international, truly global. So for today, we will be cooking with our special ingredients. Special ingredients? Hmm, I don't think I if you know our special ingredients. Can you guys guess what is it? Um, I think mangoes. Oh no, mangoes. it's not mangoes. Mangoes. Mm. We'll, no. we'll try to see. Apples. I think not. How about if you guys guess what is it? Can you guess? It's? It's banana. That is right, sir. That is banana. So we will be cooking with our special ingredient, which is banana. So we prepared for you three course meal. Yes, three course meal. With two desserts. Not only one, but two desserts. Not only one, but two desserts. Okay, so before we start, we want to show to everyone our dear alma mater. So roll video. Our visitor is not ready for to introduce our school. We will start our first course for today. It is salad. Yes. So my partners, are you guys ready? Yeah, yes. we are ready. Good. So we prepared a cardamom glazed salad for everyone. It's a cardamom glazed banana, which we will be using a saba banana or cardamom banana. So it's really unusual because usually here in the Philippines, we only use saba banana for maruya, maruya turon. turon. Mm. But this time, we will tour you and you will realize that saba banana is not just for maruya and turon, turon but maruya. it's somewhere yes. better than that. Something somewhere. better. Something yes. tastier, right? Yes, that yes, is guys, right. Do you expect that? Yes, so let us start. Okay. Let's start. So the ingredients that we need, aside from our special and our highlight for today, which is banana, we need apples, green apples, lemon, we need radish, celery, we also need walnuts, banana chips from the Phil Export. Phil Export. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much Phil Export, our for our sponsor. And we also need green onions. And we need soy, honey, honey soy dressing, and of course cardamom. And we will also be making our own healthy and light mayonnaise. And of course, what else do we need? Sugar. Cardamom so, sugar. To yes, be exact. that is right. So let us start. Okay. okay let's Method go. class. Preparing all our ingredients. Peeling, washing. Okay. I will do for you guys. I will do the mango. Mango. Sorry. It's bananas. bananas. Oh my gosh. I'm Did so you sorry. eat or? Oh my god. You need bananas. Really so I need I bananas. Need this we actually need this because bananas are good and they are rich in potassium, potassium. which is good for the muscles yeah. as they help in preventing. Thank you for that information. Of course. I did so it. I study a lot. Of course. I don't waste my money. Good thing that we have this kind of event to. To tell everyone that banana has this something really special for our kitchen, for the children, and for everyone to eat. So our chefs here are slicing the radish into an inch rundles. This is rundles. This is what we call rundles, which we learned from school. It is round, just simple round cut. And we would also like to thank our dear school for choosing the three of us of to be course, here in front of you. We are very honored. Thank you so much, iChef and Miss Nicole. Thank you. And for our saba bananas, what are you going to do with our saba bananas today, Tish? Um, do you think that, do you think, guys, that bananas can be brulee? Do you know what brulee is? Do you know, guys, what brulee is? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know what brulee is? Well, what is brulee, Chef Dish? It is a process of burning the sugar, but not directly using the heat. We will be using our dear blowtorch yes. later. 
But be careful not to do this at home because, yes, only seek for professional advice, right? Yes. Because it's quite dangerous to use a to use a. You don't torch. want to burn yourself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my. Okay, so what are you doing, Miss LA? I am doing the pickle, the pickle mix for our radish. Because actually pickling something, it adds another flavor profile. It won't just be salad sauce and mayonnaise. Who wants that, right? Yes. Yeah. So I guess our salad will be really delicious. Of course it should. And it will. And I am excited to taste this one, for you to taste this one. So after slicing our saba bananas, we will put our or add our cardamom sugar. Hello, I did not do that when I was at school. Can you explain how did you do that? Actually, I just pureed the cardamom. I removed, I peeled it, I just used the seed and then I used the blender to just like um, extract the dust because we're just using the dust and incorporated it with sugar. So it's yes, the, the dust, yes, the yes. dust of the, the cardamom. cardamom. Okay. Yes. So it's aromatic, really, and it's sweet. But yes, I never in my wildest dreams that cardamom would go better because it's, it's a strong yeah, kind of yeah. smell. And I right? think sugar would go good with this because. Yes, of course. Right? Sugar and a strong cardamom. Mm. Right, Chef? Nice I are you there? I was actually... Sorry, I was busy. Because <laughs> I was actually doing the apples, you know? The apples. Apple pen. You know yeah. that song? <laughs> yeah. That I have a pen. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't, we should not talk about lemons or apples. We should yeah. talk about And bananas. what I did actually is for the apples, because you notice that apples oxidizes. Oxidizes means that it becomes discolored easily. So what you will do is you will squeeze lemon, you know. This process is called acidulation to prevent yes. it from discoloring. So you but, just squeeze lemon. But what if they do not have lemons? What we, they can use is calamansi. It yes. still is acidic as it is with lemons. So they do the same thing. They just give acid to prevent it from acidulation. Uh, or from right? changing its color. Yes. You don't want to eat brown apples or brown pears or anything that's discolorated. It will change its texture. It will change its taste. Taste, I'm sorry. Actually, it will taste. It will taste differently. Right, guys? Yes. It tastes like it's old kind okay. of fruit. Okay. And I don't that. think, guys, that apples or fruits are the only one who will discolor, right? What kind of... Um, we have also vegetables, right? Yes. What do you think are the vegetables that will change its color when it's um, when we don't put any acid think, in it? To, mm, mm, potatoes. 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 Eggplants. Or eggplants. Patatas in our dialect. Yes. Right? What do you call the other one? So our radishes are all pickled. And our julienne of apples are ready. So Chef LA is now slicing our celery. celery to add a freshness, you know, because celery tastes fresh. Yes. yes. Okay, so. So, again, guys, today we will be making a cardamom glazed sa banana saba for our salad. And later on, we will serve you some free taste or samples for the dish that we made today. All the courses that we will be making, you will taste everything. So I hope you enjoy and you taste the difference of our bananas today. Yeah. So that you will not just watch, but you will actually get to taste it. So that when you do this at home, you will have an idea what it will taste like. Yes, that is right. Chef L.A., how are you there? Yeah, I'm about ready. I think we can start playing. I think our guests are ready. They are waiting. Yeah, <laughs> but before we do the plating, I need. I think we need to do that first. Okay. We're going to blowtorch the bananas, which is, again, called the process of brulee. Brulee, yes. Okay. I almost forgot it. Why oh do gosh. I always forget the word brulee? <laughs> So, 
Chef Tishel will now brulee our bananas. Yes. Do we need to add some sugar? Sugar, yes, please. Cardamom sugar. Because this kind of process is really exciting because who would have thought, right? That sabah could be a salad. Yes, usually it's just a snack in our house. <laughs> usually a maruya in our store. Yes. And another trivia, guys. Not only does that add color or a splash of color to our bananas, but it also adds flavor and texture, right? Yes. It's just like um, when you are eating creme brulee. Who has eaten creme brulee here? Yeah, I'm sure you have eaten creme brulee. It has that crunchy caramelized sugar on top, right? It's just the same with this one. Because creme brulee in French directly means? means what? Burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. Burnt yes. Sugar. So, we're almost done. We just have to plate our... Are you guys excited? Or are you kind of bored? Do you want me to entertain you? I we prepared some prizes for you. Yes. We'll ask some questions, just easy questions, after we finish our dishes, just for a recap or something like that. So, I hope you remembered everything. And we'll apply this at home when you get at home so you will apply all this kind of stuff that we did here i'm excited to let you taste this dish guys of course at school we are not only taught to be cooks but we are taught to be chefs so of course we should do go clean as you go to avoid Cross-contamination, uh, And Tisha, I've noticed that we have different kinds or colors of chopping boards. Can you explain yes. that? Green chopping boards are for uh, fruits, vegetables, and anything that's plant-based. You should not chop your uh, meats, your chickens in here, as chopping boards are a good source of bacteria, right? You don't want to eat bacteria in your food. So, so at home, we just don't buy white chopping yes, boards for yes, everything. Of course, of Why course. don't we try green chopping board, yellow chopping board for our food? It is also an investment because it's for your health as well. Yes. Right? So as I said earlier, green is for vegetables and fruits. Um, yellow is for poultry. Poultry. Poultry and game. Uh, brown is for cooked meat. Red is for raw meat. Uh, Blue is for uh, seafood. seafood and other marine biology. biology. Marine biology. So right now, marine Chef food. LA is tossing our ingredients with our soy and honey, soy and honey dressing. Which is have to mix the yes. soy and the honey. We so would, that will be our dressing. We would also like to thank Chef Pollard for his honey soy dressing. That tastes so good and tastes so sweet with our salad. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so, so much. So again, I'll do the clay go while you while you do your plate, okay, guys? Okay. So make it really pretty. Yeah, because and appetizing. Guys. Yeah, because actually people eat first with the eyes. So of everything course. food should be visually pleasing because that's why it's called culinary arts, right? Yes. That is right. Exactly. Cooking is not just only like doing, doing doing like that in your in your stove. It's just giving. It's pouring your heart and your soul to your plate. Yes. Right, right guys. Right. So Ella, can you pass me the light mayonnaise dressing that we of made course. earlier? So this is our light may mayonnaise. This is just egg yolk and vegetable oil. You just have to mix it and mix it until it becomes kind of fluffy. Yeah, and guys, making this is labor. Um, it requires labor, labor, but it's labor it's, intensive. Yeah, it's labor. Yeah, that's labor intensive. Thank you very much. I love you, friend. 
Yeah, it's very much labor intensive, but actually it is worth it because this is much healthier and fresh than the real mayonnaise. And of course, when you whisk, you do like that. So you lose fat in your arms, you look skinny, you look pretty. So you don't but make mayonnaise skinny. at home. You don't make mayonnaise at home. Actually, I do not. I always do our mayonnaise at home. Because you see, muscles. I'm sure you should, we should try that next time, okay? That's our next uh, workout. workout. Yeah. Later, okay? Mayonnaise making. Do you guys want to join us with, while doing our mayonnaise? You'll have strong arms. <laughs> and of course, our dear banana chips from Phil Export. Phil Export. Thank you so much, Phil Export, for the sponsor of our Samba Bananas and our banana chips. So okay. guys, uh, what do you think is the main purpose of the banana chips? Can you guess what's the main purpose of the banana chips? Can you guess? Banana chips? Not, it just It not. adds what? What? It starts with a letter C. C. Uh, it, next letter is R. Next is you. You just have to say it. It adds, adds crush. crush. And yes. texture and flavor. Right, guys? Yes. I have your tissue. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And our plating is actually quite complete. I just need the onion rings for onion rings. Onion A col rings. Uh, color, onion color rings. and kick. Yes. Onion rings. Yes. Because you need to make it pretty, right? Pretty like you. Like our dear delegates, our dear guests. They're all pretty. Yes. I think we are about done. How about our soy? Yeah, we. Dressing. I already tossed it in honey soy dressing. Yes, and this is our finished dish. Yes. That is what again, Ella? Cardamom glazed saba banana. And our servers, my schoolmates, will be serving you guys the salad that we just made earlier. So you can taste our salad. Yes. We can prove to you that it is healthy, it is delicious, delicious. and it's pretty. And it's affordable. Of Everyone course. can afford. Of course. And of you course. can do this at home also. Huh? Yeah, because it's just fresh salad tossed and dressing, yes. right? Yes. Anyone can make that at home. So while you are enjoying your salads, um, we will start preparing for the next course. So the stay main tuned. course. 